Now, just a couple of days ago, Facebook was asked to pay a record $5 billion in fine for violating user privacy in the Cambridge Analytica data scandal case. Facebook has announced its second quarter earnings for 2019 now. And guess what? The earnings are more than three times that penalty amount. So Mark Zuckerberg's business is doing great, even though they've admitted that they're under investigation in other cases for potential violation of American law. Names, email addresses, gender and likes. Personal data of 87 million Facebook users was illegally harvested through an online quiz and used to target political advertising in the US. The truth tumbled out in March 2018. The Cambridge Analytica data scandal shook the world. Now, more than a year later, the US Federal Trade Commission has asked Facebook to pay a fine of $5 billion and restructure its approach to privacy. That settlement includes removing what's been termed unfettered control by Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg over decisions affecting user privacy. Now, this is an important day for Facebook. As part of the settlement, we've agreed to pay a $5 billion fine, which is one of the largest in history. But even more importantly, we're going to be making some major changes to the way that we build products and the way that we run this company. But there's skepticism about the penalty. Even though it is the largest fine imposed in the U.S. on a tech company, it hardly makes a dent on Facebook's revenues. Uh, we don't think any of these problems are cured by the $5 billion fine. Uh, we think that for a company the size of Facebook, uh, $5 billion is not a sufficient incentive for them to refrain from violating people's privacy in the future. And here's more reason why this fine makes no difference to Facebook. The company announced revenues of $16.9 billion in the second quarter of 2019. That's more than three times the penalty amount. Facebook's results show the duality that currently defines the company. Critics slam the platform for privacy missteps, but investors are charmed by the earning power of Facebook's targeted advertising. The company's troubles may continue, though. While announcing its quarterly results, Facebook also admitted it is officially under two antitrust probes in the U.S. An antitrust review is meant to protect consumers from exploitative business practices. For the moment, though, the heightened scrutiny is only a minor irritation for the company. None of the action against the company has been able to derail its financial success. The number of users logging into Facebook every day has grown by 8% to 1.59 billion. In other words, Facebook continues to be the most popular internet service worldwide. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.